Thank you for joining me on the channel today. My name is Trent. This is Highway Spec, where we spec out some of the latest and greatest cars. And because it's the month of December, we want to make it a December to remember to steal the line from Lexus. We are going to do some of the craziest cars out there, as you've seen so far this month. But we are going to do a Porsche today, which, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, is my favorite manufacturer to do a max spec build because you can get base Tycons over $200,000 with options. It's just crazy what you can do with some of these cars. So they just recently announced the moving from the PTS. There is a Ruby Star Metallic. It's called now Ruby Star Neo, the new version of Ruby Star. Very popular color, debuted on the 964 Porsche 911. And they are now making it a special color, so it is not a $13,000 option. It is now just a $3,000 option. In our way of celebrating that, we are going to spec out a Porsche 718 Boxster in Ruby Star Neo going for a max spec. We have done several 911s. We've done the Taycan, the Macan. So we are going to go with, and we've done the Cayman as well, I should say. So we are going to do a 718 Boxster. So let's jump into it. Because this is a max spec build, here you can see this new Ruby Star Neo color for the style edition. But we are going to go up the range here rather than just going with a Boxster, or Boxster T, or even a Boxster S. I want to go with, we're going to go with the 718 Boxster GTS 4.0. So the 4.0 comes from the GT3 motor. So it is the flat six, sounds fantastic. Zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds, no slouch, and 394 horsepower. So let's go ahead and build this out. Okay, so we've got the Boxster GTS 4.0 pulled up here, and as you can see in the special color column, we've got the Ruby Star Neo $2,580 option. So not that bad, uh, especially when paint sample, yeah, that used to be your only way in to getting this color. And it is a very unique color, very cool color in my opinion. So let's go ahead and build one out. Starting out, we're at $96,430. And of course, that is going to add up quickly. So here we go. The tops don't make any difference in price, so we're not going to bother with those. You've got the standard wheels, the 911 turbo wheels, the Carrera Sport wheels, I think, are great looking. However, the 911 turbo wheels are what's going to give us the more expensive price. Let's see what we can do, if we can do any painting here. Ooh, exterior color. Does force us to go to the career sport wheels. I gotta at least see this. <laughs> okay, I think that's really cool. <laughs> you may not think so. Personally, I think that is a really cool combo. Yes, it will age rather quickly, but I think it is a, the best choice there is. However, it does not give us the most expensive option, and this is a max spec build, so I did do the titanium wheel bolts there, but let's go back and get the 911 turbo wheels, which adds $590 to the cost, and that's what we're going to have to do. So $100,680, and those just don't look the same. That's uh, the paint-matched wheels. So let's see what we can get. You've got the natural leather and $4,000 leather race text interior for $2,100. Obviously, we're going to see what we can come up with as the most expensive option. We're going to add the heated steering wheel and carbon fiber. Adds $4,500 to the cost of the vehicle. That is an interesting color combo. Uh, I don't hate it, but I definitely would not select it. Let's see if we can go full bucket seats, and that does require us to change Okay, so let's go ahead and change that out to the chalk stitching. That adds $7,640, and that is a good-looking interior right there. Look at that. Those seats, I think, fit really well with this vehicle with the carbon fiber options. 
very nice. Now let's see what we can do with this. Do the deviated stitching package, I think it's gonna get, yeah, it won't work with that. GTS interior package, extended, nope. I don't think it'll let us do anything. So here's the question. What if we go with this, change the options there, it actually adds $4,260 by getting rid of those full bucket seats, going with the most expensive leather and the adaptive sports seats, but adding the seat centers and deviated leather. And just for the heck of it, we're gonna go ahead and select Bordeaux red. I don't think it'll actually render it. Okay, so let's pretend these are red because this is a crazy car anyway, so might as well just make it even crazier. But this does allow us to do some of these other options, it looks like. We do lose out on our carbon fiber steering wheel, but still adds $140, so let's go back with that Bordeaux red for the stitching, just because I don't think it'll show us that. Okay. <laughs> Seems like every time we get one step forward, we go two steps back. There we go. Now we've got the Bordeaux red showing up for us. And yeah, that is an interesting color combo for sure. So let's do the door sill guards. Now let's see if it'll let us do the sports seat plus back shells and trim in leather. Okay, looks like it. We're $19,170 in options, more than a Nissan Versa so far in options, and we haven't touched any packages, any of the real options. So. We've got premium package, portion entry and drive, lane change assist, power folding mirrors. Yep, $1,980. We're going to definitely go ahead and do that. Then let's, now you can do 3D printed body form full bucket driver's seat. Is this going to change everything again? I think uh, it doesn't look like we're, we're going to do that. That will probably mess everything up again, so I'm going to skip over that. We're at 115000 so far. Let's go with the sport design package in high gloss black. Headlight cleaning and exterior color. Uh, that gets rid of our design pack. We're not going to do that. All right, safety bars in exterior color. That's going to look interesting. <laughs> Door handles in black. Bespoke decal kit. All right, if you followed any of my Porsche builds as of late, for some reason, every time we go with the bespoke decal, it just freezes. And I've tried different networks, different computers. It just does that all the time. So we are going to have to take that off the price because we could do that. Uh, so add a couple thousand dollars by the end of this to get our real price. Uh, for some reason, that rendered the door handles looks like in white. No, I'm pretty sure I selected black. Yep, I did. So, oh well, <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, looks like we'll do the model designation on the rear in painted and rear wing in high gloss black. An exclusive design fuel cap. All right, we are going to choose the PDK as much as I hate to do it because it is a $3,730 option. So we're gonna do it. Power Steering Plus, brake calipers in high gloss black. Can do the LED headlights with the Porsche dynamic lighting system. Adaptive cruise control, we can do that because of the PDK. So that adds more to the cost, that's what we're after. Preparation for the dash cam. That we could not do. Let's add in add ventilated seats though. All right, we're gonna have to see what the interior trim painted in the exterior color looks like. And let's see. There we go. Ruby Star painted on the inside. Very interesting. Climate control painted. Let's add that in there. Wow, that is a lot of Ruby Star Neo. All right. It is what it is. I can't even come up with anything to say. All right, this is another one. Whenever it brings up a prompt, it just doesn't let me do it. I don't know why. All right, just for fun, let's do matching seat belts. 
instrument dials in white, support chrono dial in white, and nothing says race car like a fire extinguisher. Let's see what those options did. There we go. You've got the white in there. Now we do have a fair amount of leather. Now let's see what the interior trim does. Okay, it actually adds $130. So we're going to go ahead and do that in the leather rather than in the Ruby Star. Dashboard trim package. I'm going to keep that Bordeaux red. Dash door panel trim package. Sun visors and leather. Porsche crest. There's a lot of leather options if you could not tell. All right, we're not going to do the steering column casing because that took away a bunch of stuff. All right, climate control panel and leather is the same price, so we're going to keep that little bit of Ruby Star there. <laughs> it's amazing that Porsche does let you do this. The PDK gear selector. Let's go ahead and do it in black. Fuse box covers and leather. Just everything leather that we can do. All right, that gets rid of those options. We're not going to do that. All right, these won't render, of course. All right, so let's see what some of these, if what is going to be more expensive. All right, that takes away $430, so we're not going to do that. Door trim package in race text, not available. Sun visors doesn't add anything to the cost. All right, so that's going to, I think, be it. Yep, for that one. Okay. Now, interior trim package in carbon fiber does add $790, so we're going to do that. PDK gear selector with carbon fiber trim actually is less expensive, so we're not going to do that. All right, so we are going to add the smartphone compartment, Bose surround system, actually, Burmester. There we go. And navigation, including Porsche Connect. And we're going to go ahead and select the more expensive Porsche Experience Center delivery in Los Angeles. And it looks like we've already selected those. So without going paint to sample, we did want to spec out the Ruby Star Neo. We were looking at $142,765 for a 718 Boxster GTS 4.0. And look at that, $48,915 in options, which is actually not very much for a Porsche. We have had over $100,000 on base model cars before. So by going up in packages, going to the GTS, it does package in some things for less money. So $142,765. What do you think of, first of all, the Ruby Star Neo? Is this a color that you even like? And second of all, how would you spec a Porsche 718 Boxster GTS 4.0, and chances are it probably would not get anywhere near that $142,000. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, click the bell notifications, all the things the YouTube algorithm loves so that it pushes out to more people so that I can make more videos for people like you. Thank you again for joining me. I will catch you on the next one.